Boolean expressions play a central role in our everyday lives, our online lives in particular. They let us query the web. The job of Google is to make a query true as a description of the pages that it returns. So if we simply type Britain, it returns highly ranked pages that mention Britain. If we type Britain, France, then we get pages that mention Britain and France. We'd write the Boolean expression this way, Britain and France, using our AND symbol. Because AND is almost always what we want, Google is friendly and we don't have to type it. Google also supports negation. It uses the minus sign. So for example, we could type Britain, France, minus war. Notice that the war stories have gone away. In our logical language, we'd write this query as Britain and France and not war. Notice that the single operator minus actually corresponds to the compound logical expression and not. Google uses many factors in deciding what documents to return in response to a query, so it's often hard to experiment and see how changing a query changes Google's response. eBay is much more straightforward. So for example, while Google may return a page that doesn't actually contain all the words in a query, eBay in general won't, although it does try to be a bit smart about expanding queries, for example, to include singular and plural versions of words. Suppose we want to search for sapphire rings. Well, many people misspell the word sapphire, so we might type this query. Read it as sapphire, spelling one, or sapphire, spelling two, and ring. As with Google, just separating words with spaces means that they get anded together. Separating words with commas and enclosing them in parentheses means that they get ORed together. So the Boolean expression that corresponds to this query is sapphire or sapphire and ring. Notice that our query returned almost 250,000 results. Let's try to refine our search by adding another term, gold. Here's the Boolean expression that corresponds to this new query. Notice that by anding the additional term, we've cut the number of results almost in half to 139,500. Now let's further refine our search by specifying a term that should not occur. We'll add, and not white. We don't like white gold. Here's the Boolean expression that corresponds to this new query. Notice that the single symbol minus actually means and not again. By adding this term, we've cut the number of results almost in half again to about 69,000. Now let's further refine our search by specifying another term that should not occur. We'll add and not diamond. We don't like diamonds. Here's the Boolean expression that corresponds to this new query. By adding this term, we've cut the number of results by about a third to about 44,000. And finally, let's write this same query in a different but equivalent way. Instead of saying, and not white, and not diamond, we'll say, and not white or diamond. In other words, neither white nor diamond. Here's the Boolean expression that corresponds to this way of saying it. Notice that the number of results hasn't changed. Well, actually it changed by 17, but that's just a reflection of what happened on eBay in the time that elapsed between the two queries. By the way, the fact that these last two expressions are equivalent is a consequence of an extremely useful Boolean identity called De Morgan's Law. You can see a picture of Augustus De Morgan himself here. De Morgan tells us that P and Q is false if and only if at least one of P or Q is false. And P or Q is false if and only if both of them are false. It's straightforward to prove using truth tables that this law holds for any Boolean expressions. So the bottom line, while there isn't a standard notation and most of the world gets along just fine without our logical symbols, it's hard for most of us to imagine a day going by without in fact using Boolean logic.